Hey guys. Okay, so this video is going to be a little random just because it's about a product that has been out for forever. So it's a little weird that I'm doing a review on it now. But I really wanted to dedicate a whole video on the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipsticks simply because I have gotten quite a few recently and it's like every time I buy a new one I just fall more and more in love with these lipsticks. So I wanted to give you my thoughts on them and the pros and cons. And yes, I am aware that these lipsticks have been out for forever and it is probably a pointless review but I really wanted to do it just because you never know, maybe someone is looking in to buy a new Mega Last lipstick or looking into the Wet n Wild lipsticks and they want to see someone's opinions on them and they want to see lip swatches because of course I'm going to be adding lip swatches because you know I'm down like that and I always add some lip swatches. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the review. I'm sure you guys have seen these lipsticks millions of times before but this is what they look like. They just come in the little black tube and the cap is clear. They have the name of the lipstick on the bottom on a sticker that kind of color coordinates which lipstick it is um, depending on the color. So if you're going to store it like upside down, you know right away just by looking at the sticker what color it is. So that's good. I'm just really quickly going to tell you the pros of the lipstick, then I'm going to move on to the cons, and then I'm going to show you all the ones that I own with actual lip swatches. So pros of this lipstick. I obviously think they're really good lipsticks. I have 14 of them, so I mean, I think I like them. But a huge pro is that they are $1.99, which is amazing, especially if you're on a budget. These lipsticks are perfect for you. They also don't have a bad smell. I don't know if a lot of people are picky about that like I am, but I hate the cheap, like, old lady lipstick smell, if you know what I'm talking about. I hate that. These smell like absolutely nothing. Like, they have no scent whatsoever and I prefer a lipstick to have a no scent at all than to have a bad scent. So that's a huge plus for me. Another pro is that they come in amazing colors. They come in really intense, bright, like bold pinks. Then they go into like deeper colors. They have really nice reds. They have really nice plum colors. And then they have their natural peachy pinks and beigey colors. I'll show you in my lip swatches, but they have a really good color range if you want a more neutral lip, if you want a really bold lip, or if you want something really dark and like seductive kind of like plummy or vampire-y lip. I don't know. You get me. I find that the lasting power on these lipsticks are amazing. I mean, they are called the Mega Last Lipsticks, so, you know, they do what they're supposed to. I get about six hours of wear out of these before I have to touch up or anything. So lasting power, amazing. Really quickly, I wanna talk about the cons of the lipstick. When it comes to packaging, you get what you pay for. They are $2, so of course you're not gonna have any fancy packaging. If you're somebody that's a huge like packaging junkie that you need to have like really nice packaging, you probably won't like these lipsticks. But they are $2, so I'm okay with the fact that it has cheapy packaging. I don't know if you can tell, but lipstick gets all over the cap on this guy. Really annoying, you have to like constantly like clean it or just leave it like this if you don't care. Don't care. Another con, most of these lipsticks are matte and I think that's why they're mega last because matte lipsticks usually last longer, but most of them are, if not all of them, are matte. So if you're not a matte lipstick wearer, you will not like these lipsticks. I personally love how matte lipsticks look, so I think that's why I love them so much. But just because they are matte doesn't mean they're drying. Um, they don't feel anything like Ruby Woo does. If you know what Ruby Woo feels like, you know that that's like putting d the Sahara on your lips. It's so damn dry. They're not uncomfortable to wear. They're matte, but I can still rub my lips together. There's still a lot of creaminess to the lipstick, which is a pro even though I'm talking about the cons. So the fact that most of them are matte isn't necessarily so bad, but I can see how it would be a con to some people. Okay, so that's basically it. Those are the only bad things I have to say about it. It's the packaging and um, the formula. I would understand why some people don't like it, but that's pretty much what the only thing I would say is bad about it. Everything else I think is pretty great about these lipsticks. So if you want to see all the lips, all the lipsticks swatched on my lips, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first one I have is called Bear It All and it is a very brown nude. 
Um, this might look a little bit more pink if you have darker skin, but it comes off pretty brown on my lips. And I actually do like it. I think it's the perfect nude for fall. I like it. I think it's nice. This one is called Think Pink and it is my favorite one right now. Um, it's for every day. It's like the most beautiful pastel -y pink, but it doesn't wash out my lips, which is amazing. I don't look sick when I use this, like a lot of pale pink lipsticks. Look on me, this one's really pretty. This one doesn't have the name on it, but it's called Just Peachy. And it's very similar to Think Pink, only it's more peachy, of course. <laughs> yeah. So it just comes off um, a little bit more pinky on my lips than it does on other people's lips. But you can tell there's a lot more peach to this one. It's just a nice everyday color. This one is called Pinker Bell, and it is just a very neon pink. It's the only thing I can describe it. This next one is called Dollhouse Pink. It's probably one of my favorites, like definitely top five. I started putting my hand behind the lipstick like you see here because it was showing it more true to color in the tube, but that's why my hand's there. Anyway, yeah, it's just so neon. Like I love this color so much. It definitely stands out in person. Like if someone's wearing this lipstick, you're like, oh, okay. This next one is called Don't Blink Pink. It's also a hot pink color, but it's, really really nice like it has a lot more of the fuchsia -iness instead of like the neon barbie pink this one's a little bit more hot pinkish and it's it's really pretty this next one is called smoking hot pink and it's a nice way to wear like hot pink lipstick because it's not so in your face it has a lot of red to it and i think it's really wearable this next one is called mauve out of here and it's just a really nice purpley mauve color. I also think this would be a perfect like everyday color in the fall. I think it's really pretty. This one is 24 karat gold and it is a very orange lipstick. Like there is no other way to describe this lipstick. It's orange and it's definitely a summer color, but it is really pretty and I think that it would look pretty on a lot of different skin tones. This next one I could barely pronounce. Pretty persimmon? Pretty persimmon? I, I don't know. But it is a very red orange. This is probably my favorite color to ever wear on my lips. It just, it's so pretty. I don't know. I just love this color so much and it feels really nice on my lips. I love this one. This next one is Cherry Picking, and I actually don't have anything in my lipstick collection that looks like this. It is a pink, but it has some red to it. It's like a red fuchsia-y pink. I don't know how to describe it. It's very rich in person, and it just makes your lips look juicy. I don't know. I like it, obviously. <laughs> this next one is Stoplight Red, and oh my goodness, this is like the most beautiful red lipstick in the world. It reminds me of how Ruby Woo like packs a punch, only it's a little bit less drying. It's so creamy and beautiful. I love this red. It's like my favorite red lipstick right now. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This one is Sugar Plum Fairy, and it is a purple with like some berry tones. I love how it has like the berry undertone. It's really pretty for fall. I love this one. I love all of them. I keep saying that I love this one and I love that one. I love all of them. This one can be a little bit scary. I don't have the sticker on this one either, by the way, but it is called Raven Raisin, and yeah. It's a bit intense. I can understand why people don't like it, but I think it's a nice fall color if I'm feeling daring. So yeah, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.